Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues with the Ashes to Embers update in which we're playing as Montana Chapter led by Elder Patroclus. His rank is Elder. Go Patroclus, go forth to Montana, the Midmaster and Hierarch said, and secure it for the Brotherhood. An envoy of the Midwest and a Brotherhood stalwart, Patroclus has seen many theaters of combat engage with different eras of Midwestern rule. Prior records make note of his ruthless efficiency and curt, straight to the point, candor. Deemed perfect to finish Brother's mission in Montana. So, well, we've got his charge. Patroclus was entrusted with a mission of utmost urgency to trail one of the most recent and notorious traitors in the Midwestern Brotherhood, followed with the Sisters of Steel, a ragtag, unofficial order within the Midwestern hierarchy. The Sisters were named such to their foremost members, Paladin Minerva and Sentinel Honor, the latter of whom earned her particular rank for her bravery and successful efforts against the Enclave skirmishes back in Chicago. The largely social outcasts, many of their members are among the Brotherhood elite, though unfortunately in recent times they must have been disgraced by the actions of their own, seeking rebirth in Montana. They, many of them feel they have something to prove in the times to come. Patroclus's charge. Long ago in the American Midwest, a set of Midwestern scribes and paladins were running a search operation within their 100th or so derelict facility. Just as they thought they had seen it all, they found something remarkable. A map to a pre-war bunker that pointed to what had once been known as the state of Montana. The supply log was simple but powerful, and to some mythological, the bunker was designed to hold its own weight in the fusion cores, plasma rifles, and other associated supplies. The weight of such an expedition was considered for a time, but deemed fruitless. This bunker had uh, surely been plundered, and some said, others, that it was simply too far to send a recovery detachment and expect realistic, worthwhile results. With the threat of the enclave in Chicago, and the threats that held the brother together already strained, it was deemed unworthwhile. That is until one certain paladin decided to steal the notes, the cipher, and several other pieces of confidential brotherhood data, eloping by our lonesome into the long night north. An expedition was mustered nearly overnight, the embarrassment and anger of the higher echelons like a rising, risable thunder through the ranks, to them. In such a state of emergency, there was only one man of fit to send. Go, Patroclus, go forth and scour this traitor, and secure this vault for the brotherhood, they told him. And so he set off, what did he prioritize in the expedition's forces? The experience over numbers? It's not bad. Uh, and then experience was important, but numbers would outlast veterancy. Advanced technical armor. So what are we producing here? We got this stuff. Um, scavenge power armor. Oh god, god, no. Um, ooh, watts. Yeah, that's nice. Oh god. Scavenge PA. Oh no. <sighs> um, I like the manpower. We have 1800, which is pretty good. Uh, but we're already on an initiate, so I'm actually going to go with the manpower just in case. So, this is a steal in the family matters. A little conversation on the way to Montana and the v Fort Ver Verity Bunker. As Montana chapter nears, Paladin Joanna seems to cease to her own journey. Oh, a fire burns beneath the ground. The world was on the cusp of greatness, they say. Or was it hubris? But sound energy drilled deep beneath the waves for the last of Earth's oil. They harnessed the sun to keep old Vegas ablaze. In Yellowstone, once a park, they drilled into Earth's mirror for energy. Marvelous in men's eyes, all night and all day, until them a fire blazed, tireless and unquenchable. Poseidon's Hephaestus project, they said, would have powered 20 million homes for thousands of years. They say it would have solved the resource crisis, or they say it would set off a volcano and another nuclear winter. But they say lots of things, don't they? Yellowstone's rangers refuse to activate the plant, but others wonder, we cannot trace the wasteland with such technology. But the Sisters of Steel. Among Patroclus' ranks was a peculiar group, the Sisters of Steel, controversial in their formation and more so with their inclusion in the expedition. Composed almost entirely of the ex-tribals, Reaver descendants, and former raiders, or former raiders, the sisters, were a group formed entirely around the concept of camaraderie over codex, something that has gotten them into considerable trouble in the past. When Patroclus chose to include them, he did so out of a mixture of pity and mannered respect. The rogue paladin who had stolen the confidential materials was a sister herself, after all, while his colleagues expressed pushback at the thought. He held faith in the idea that they had a chance to redeem themselves under his charge and restore the position of the Brotherhood. Their leader, Sentinel Honor, has long since been a disputed figure under the Midwestern hegemony. Some claim that even with her years of training under the Brotherhood, she retains a fiery independence, unlike those of her status, causing those loyal to her to be fiercely so, and her detractors to be even louder. Sister stands strong. Oh, look at that PP. Scribe Amity. Well, Refined Warfare, Personal Entry, Amity, Nawi. Rank Scribe. An infamous yet eccentric scribe, highly efficient and skilled in her field, also likes pretty flowers. Scribe Aquila's Notes. Quit writing your own entry. I've had to go over and correct these three times now. If there's a fourth, I'm going to be, follow a report. Well, with all this political power, honors plan. Tanya Kareba. Interesting. Wow. Monthly population and non-core manpower, huh? Paladin Steve. Well, painter. With uh, this guy. Rank Paladin. A workhorse of a paladin who said to write the word flubbins on his power armor to make sure his identification was easier. Scribe Mance. And Paladin Chad. Well, I like the political power. It helps with, with other costs. 
And uh, what do we have? Taxation of tyranny versus letting th thrift get to work. But by the fire side on the frontier. Down the hill from Honor's Perch, choice was a party of friends and cr family. Crowds of cheer and valorous bows emanated like a roundabout clockwork, as they did at every celebration, even still. As she watched as campfires flicker and the nights drink deeply of the canteens, she could have felt more lonely. Before she could seek deeper in her thoughts, she heard the aged boot of the Patroculus stamp down next to her. Sitting up here alone, he chuckled. You know, we're a week or so out from the bunker honor. Why not come celebrate, asked Patroculus. I should probably say wrong. Patroculus, yeah. Honor snickered softly. As fun as that sounds, my mind remains in the Johanna situation. I can't fathom her reasoning. Patroculus sighed, understanding but dismissive. I do, I'll do you one better. It doesn't matter. She ran off with some of her most viable knowledge without so much as a word in her stab. As far as I'm concerned, if she cared at all, she would have said something. He rested his hands on his hips. I know what you're thinking, but she knew what would happen. I know her better than you, Patroculus, Honor said gently. She's not a traitor. She's family to you and me. I suppose someone should have told her that before all this happened. Patroculus shrugged his shoulders. In any case, I'll have some of the others save you some rations. We don't know what to expect deep in Montana, he dusted himself off, glancing back to her. Family, Honor, it's the folks who stay with you the whole way, no matter what. Honor glanced up with a semi-stern gaze, rich with a valorous intent. I agree, she said, knowing they meant two different things. The night is long, and our hearts young. More war sport, and high hopes and heavy hearts. Ooh. Uh, I think we can grab here a toothpick. Interesting. More scrub. Knight Warwick. It's a knight. Headstrong and cunning Knight Warwick, having requested to be referred to by his first name as to avoid confusion with his twin, is a highly compatible, uh, capable, and highly attentive member of the Brothers Arsenal. While his confidence borderlines smarm, as noted by the new recruit to express colorful comments as his ignore all take charge attitude, he's well respected for his skill in firearms and decisive combat maneuvers. Uh, knight Willow is the latest descendant of the esteemed uh, Pentecosts. He continues to carry on the legacy through strength and ballot for the Brotherhood. And then now, from uh, Scribe Amity. Wow, they really did not finish this one, did they? I'll have to make a note to get in there and update the name entries. Scott Benjamin. So, uh, let's see what happens. High hopes and heavy hearts. Bunker Blues, which is pretty normal for us. Nothing but blues. Um, there's this one. No Little Misser, Head Paladin, Heyman, versus Honor's Plan, turning out the Montana chapter, the lost ship. On our travels to Montana, one of her blimps was lost to a storm. Thankfully, some of them had to survive. We received feedback on the radio on one of their commanding officers, but we couldn't get details before the line broke again. Well, we'll need to keep an eye out for them in the region, or at least hope they'll find their way home. Let's hope they're alright. So, I want to go with Honor's plan, because the Patroculus plan, if you look through this, it's really not... It's kind of there, but it's not really all the way there yet. It says event to do with the Swords of Haman. Um, well, maybe it's not. Well, maybe it is ready to go. I don't know. God is gracious. And this is a cool tree, but then you have to split them up, then you might go this way instead. But with this center tree here, there's a lot you can do, and I would like to do it sometime, but... Ooh, where are the birds? Eventually. Constructive thought. You get a lot of stuff. And mini nukes, starting compliance. And then, this focus will have an effect in a later update. And time for the cherry blossoms. Uh, I would like to do this one later on when that's done, but it, we might we might do it when it's done. We might not. I don't know. We'll see. Probably go down to the right, to the left path here. Honor's plan. After the events of the bunker, murmurs and whispers began to spread. Fear and concern churned in the hearts of those uneasy under Patroculus' order. It's not enough to watch, nor enough to curse and bite our tongues. We'll need to approach the Brotherhood, Honor's plan, and silence we garner support. Then, when a chance to act surfaces, shall there be reprisal from Sentinel Honor and turn in the Montana chapter. Interesting. Now the armaments. Oh, that'd be good to do. Um, you know, what can you do both this one and. You know, power armor? No. There you go. Joanna's journey. As Patroculus and his expedition mustered themselves for a long road ahead, Paladin and Joanna continued her own, forging a path to Montana with a cipher to map close to a person at all times. Though, through what her wit cannot break, her power armor fist did. She forged, forded rivers by riding across scraped uh, floats, traveled with caravans through desolate woods, and even helped the young Yao Guai out of a tree on the way to Montana. When she arrived at the bunker at Fort Verity, she was surprised to see it wasn't vacated like reports said. Under canopies of thin veils, people were tending to rows of sprouting crops. Before Joanna proceeded with her might. Her wits. We'll make her strong. Tiny watched the stranger's approach. Between the hairlines of her scalp, she could make out the walking form of power armor. Lagged like it hadn't slept for days, yet still moving with efficiency of a predator and the confidence of a successful one at that. Tiny clenched her jaw. More bad news for Verity? Last few months have been nothing but a slog to survive. A broken water purifier, prowling raiders, a scavenger party to never return, hunger and radiation sickness. This sad little bunker had a little more than a sheer problem. So I'm just hope still, they called her. She who carries on despite the odds, more than anything these days, however. The nickname felt disingenuous still. She had promised c c 
Catriona, and she kept her promises. She could make out the trespasser's plasma rifle in the distance, ready at a moment's notice. Stand back, Tanya called up to the denizens of Fort Verity, armed with bench shovels, hunkered down behind the sandbags. That darn munitions trader never came back, and you. She narrowed her gaze to the armored individual, turned back, there's nothing of value here. This bunker's supposed to be empty, the armored woman said, her gaze wandering to the rows of damp soil. How long have you been all up here? Why don't you lower your weapon first and we talk? There was a twitch in the armored woman's shoulders. Tanya ready to shot, praying that she'd be able to pull the trigger first, and then, to her surprise, the trespasser chucked her weapon to the ground. Then the trespasser glanced up and replied with something more surprising. Let me help you. Nothing good lasts forever. Joanna's peace did not last. Just as expected, the brother had came knocking. Patroclus' iron fist demanding their townsfolk would release Joanna to them under the threat of forceful seizure. Despite the protests of the residents, Patroclus knew justice had to be served. Joanna would meet her end righteously so by brotherhood hands. But Honor did not see it that same way. Joanna was brotherhood, and more importantly, she was family. The sisters conspired amongst each other, forming a ploy to undermine Patroclus' authority. Sister 61 out. It has uh, everywhere, so we're gonna go with this one and see what this is like. Turn in the Montana chapter. Patroclus rallied his platoon outside. They dragged Joanna from the bunker and threw her to the ground. The denizens bristled at the display, but without adequate weapons. They could do nothing but watch. Honor stood quietly on the one side of Patroclus, Net Warwick stationed at the other. Loyalty is a fragile thing, Patroclus began. Paladin Joanna, for your violations against the chains that bind, we shall grant you mercy from disgrace, a swift death will do you well. Joanna knelt before the elder. Her position, posture was stiff, bracing for the supposed inevitable. She raised her hand slowly to take off her helm. Like her armor, her, the, her face supported with patches of dust and grime. But unlike any disgraced paladin that honored scene, Joanna held Patroclus' gaze fiercely. The rogue paladin didn't believe she was dead, not yet. At the sight of, her sister's, of his sister's face, Warwick's conviction turned to hesitance, and quickly did that hesitance turn to doubt. He glanced at Patroclus' elder eye. We'll speak not a word, Patroclus snapped. He shot his hand up. Brother awaited to the call. And you'll do no such thing, Honor interjected, raising her gun to a simple. Take point, Minerva shouted. The sisters amidst the crowd raised their weapons against Patroclus, numbering them two to one. Patroclus closed his eyes, smiling. This reads like a bad joke, he scoffed, betraying me at an, an, at an execution for treason. Surely you see the irony, Sentinel. There's no irony in unjust murder, Honor glanced around the crowd. From here on, this chapter turns to me, but unlike you, Patroclus, I do not believe in the sense of execution. Leave and return to the Midwest, stay if you wish to fight for a better cause. I will not extend this mercy twice. I won't fight you, Honor, but even you know you just made a grave mistake, he glowered. They'll come for you too, just like we came for her. They're, they are welcome to, Honor smiled, and when they do, we will show them how to greet tyranny. Patroclus and his brotherhood left without another word. Become sisters of steel. Add sisterhood schism. Oh god. Oh no, sisters of steel. And here's this one. But in a way, he was right. We had them depart without their gear. 40%, 40%. Um, still get the same schism. Nothing changes. Become the sisters of steel. So we lose stability, or we lose a lot of stability and get more advanced technical power armor. I don't want to lose that much stability. Or that much stability. Now let's read crystal clear. The bunker's water chip is near broke and worn down by age and recent spike in use. Truly wonder how the old thing's been functioning at all, though we're looking at first. The denizens of the bunker have allowed us to look over the chip. Let's see if we can bring back some clarity to the water. Oh, look at that. Sentinel Honors. Rank Sentinel. A valiant member of the Brother personnel formed for clashes with Enclave personnel operating out of Chicago. Sentinel Honors granted some liberty with a rank. Recently, this has been called into question thanks to the deeds of Paladin Joanna. Determined to make a difference for herself and those who pledge themselves to her course, or cause. Honor stands as a mighty wall against all that would do her harm, or her sister's harm. Of Songbirds and Sisters, Minerva's report, Honor. Some locals have arrived in Fort Rarity, and they're wanting to get acquainted with us. They're very kind and willing to take a letter. Hmm, let's see what they have to offer. Still go ghouls. Ooh. We get slashing melee weaponry. Taxation of tyranny. Ooh, conscripted labor. Anything here that's super important. I mean, I like the manpower, don't get me wrong. Robotics, exploring the fort. Not really. Da My daddy gives me an allowance. Uh, produce technical advanced armor. Um, get le letting thrift get to work. That's not bad. Motorized. A lot of motorized here. Huh. Car technology. Night service knowing the enemy anti-tank is good. Interesting. Nothing that says, oh my god, I have to get this. So, militarizing Montana. Interesting. Power armor soft attack, production cost goes down. Every paladin a brick. Every paladin a wall. Armor charge, nice. Let replace power armor training mark one with power armor training mark two. Well, I wouldn't mind going there. Taxation of tyranny. Many people in Montana have served as leeches to their neighbors. Taking these people and putting them to work will be a mutually beneficial agreement, whether they recognize it or not. Joanna's Confliction. 
She kind of pulled the rustic faucet lever. With an ancient creak, the liquid gushed from the head. She and Honor watched as the crook stream poured like tar, then mud, then for the first time what must have been centuries of water lightened into something crystal clear. Eagerly, Joanna filled her canteen with a clean water and down a mighty gulp. Gosh darn, she sighed whimsically. So it tastes kind of crappy, but it's drinkable, and that's really all I can ask for. Honor patted her back. That's the power of collaborative effort. She nodded slowly, glancing at her canteen, and I was starting to think I'd never seen this in my lifetime. The water? Yeah, then the, uh, <clears throat> she stumbled in the wording, and us, the sisters. The sisters fought for one another, Honor said. We can't let other people decide our fates. Joanna brought the canteen to her face and tapped it lightly against her forehead. When the cavalry found me, I was ready to go down and fire, because that's how my mom went out. Granted, that's what I was planning. It was more like a reckless fall than a glorious sin, but I thought to myself, if I was going to die, I'd like to do it like Pentecost. Like a Pentecost. She drew a slow breath, but I didn't do any of that. I can't even get Patrokios to listen to me. There's still plenty of Pentecost, which you're probably saying wrong, to me. Joanna chuckles weakly. I don't, it doesn't feel that way. I've done so many things my mom would have hated. I bet she's scowling right now from her grave. Uh, I mean it, Joanna. Honor, if we affirm, you let her heart guide you. That's not an easy task. The Codex can paint the world in black and white, but your heart, what you feel, that's a gray that sees beyond fake boundaries. I think it thinks about who gets hurt, which stories we tell, and who gets forgotten. Joanna stared at her model reflection in the canteen. Had you not ran off with everything, the people in this bunker wouldn't be where they are now. Honor glanced to down towards her. Your mother would have been proud of you. Your heart was gray. Her heart was gray like yours. That's such a weird way to put it, Joanna Hoff, but her face softened with a smile. Thanks, Honor. Honor nodded, of course. Soon she'll come to understand what I mean. Well, hopefully. Maybe. Well, it'll depend on the day. Embracing or enacting brother to authority. Well, every stranger or new friend. Positive change begins with how we treat those outside our ranks. The bunk of denizens have allowed us access to produce, besides them. Development en masse, on mass spread cultivation methods can begin. This trust will not be taken for granted. Still ghosts. After casting uh, Patroclus away, we thought the Middle Midwestern Brotherhood would be a problem for later. But patrol units' insistence have reported strange activity along the edge of the border. That requires an immediate investigation. Hopefully, these shady silhouettes are nothing more than raiders. Hopefully. But you never know them. Is that that? Begin scavenging program. That'd be good. Ohm's Law is good. Nice. Uh... Work is needed. Well, I can put the locals to work. Many of the people here are scavengers, no doubt. Many of them would be better suited to help us produce our equipment. Infrastructure. Or do this way. Yeah. Do that, go here, or do that, go there first. Yeah, put the locals to work. Well, yeah, let's race to get that one first. I don't know. Bridge your members. Uh, civvies. Appraising the old H&H &H factory. There's a rather large H&H &H tools factory within town. If we were to renovate and place some of our newfound workforce within it, we'd be able to increase production by a significant amount. And power armor studies, too. While we've arrived with a decent supply ourselves, understanding how to replicate our armor's plate pieces in any fashion, a spread them out to continue presence here in Montana. Otherwise, replacing portions of our armor will only grow more and more costly. My daddy gives me an allowance. With all of our regional developments, we can turn our minds to the most important thing of all. Uh, more power armor authentic to our image. Lost Sales Communique. Lost Sales, the formal head of the Brotherhood of Steel, has just sent us a preliminary communique. They seem intent on wishing uh, to restart efforts to reestablish communications with us. The elders are always up to something. Yeah, stability and political power. Look at that. Let's go. We got connections there. Amity? Yes, please. Very good. So we want to do that one and then steal ghosts. Yeah. And then Unity and Sisterhood. The uh, success of partnership, rather than ownership, over the bunkers proven fruitful beyond imagination. Though honor's shift in power bristled the Montana chapter, spurring many scribes, knights, and the sort to desert once their word was made true, the friendships established in the bunker kept spirits kindled. Many now have accepted the title sister with wonder. Friendship is magic. That's what I understand. What are we missing here? Vehicles? Not bad overall. Let's take a look see. So we got Midwest Paladins, which I like. We got Sisters of Steel, which I guess makes more sense for us to use. Than anything else. Knights Patrol with anti tank, which is nice. Spec Ops Divisions, which we will not use in this campaign, probably. Um, motorized, it's pretty normal. Light Robots, pretty normal. Brother Conscripts, pretty normal, I would say. Investor Sending Bonuses will be good, too. I don't think we have a trade now, do we? No. I think we'd beat up first. Maybe the Cole Consortium or Historians? Perhaps? Sentinel Honor, Reclamation Authority, very nice, very nice. Urban Soul Specialist, Melee Hacker, absolutely. Uh, 
Alright, 104. What do we have here? Military command. Request alone. Scribe Theoderic. Knight Will. Scott Brock. Paladin Jack. Expanding the gang. Knight Rank. Best known for his explosive know how and technical expertise. Knight Thrift is an ex trader with a jolly spirit with abstract methodologies. Though criticized for his sugar happy tendencies, is known by a few superiors. His technical break technological breakthroughs and contributions to the Brother Earl match. His wit and craftiness have drawn praise from significant Brother personnel. Knight Thrift was recruited by Honor and put into reform under her, where since he has pledged service to the Brotherhood. A uh, note. I was informed Thrift had a bomb in his hand today in the middle of the settlement. In the ca case today is the day he winds up dead. I am setting a reminder for someone to retrieve his hollow tag. Oh, Paladin Joanna. Oh, look at this. Paladin Joanna, having a request to be referred to by her first name. Oh, yeah, I heard this one, has it? Yeah. 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 Tanya Kariva. The most notorious among the locals here in Port Verde. Tanya Kariva has agreed to help our chapter in exchange for her continued assistance. Interesting. Oh. Paladin Heyman Strife. And before you offer honor, Paladin Heyman chuckled gravely, I ain't here to be your friend. Give us that girl and what she stole, then we'll be gone. Fall back, Paladin Heyman, honor glowered. At least, lest you wish this soil to be your final resting place. What happened to this mercy not being extended twice? Heyman scoffed, nothing but lies on her. Patroclus was an idiot to buy into your bluff, and even a greater one to have brought you along. Paladin Heyman was unrelenting, as were a nice. All of whom were not Patroculuses. They donned a skewered vision of the Midwestern armor, almost like a mockery of our own. The plating was crooked and rusted, as if sealed in place with a hasty craftsmanship. At the first scout's notice, Honor gathered anyone available in the vicinity to intervene. Just put down your gun, Heyman, never snapped. There's three sorts of sorry guys that aren't worth my listening, listening ear. Raiders, fiends, and traitors, Heyman dismissed, aiming her gun, and that ain't changing, not here, not ever. She fired the first shot. The skirmish lasted no more than 20 minutes. The sister struck down Heyman and her platoon with a single casualty. Minerva inspected her body with a tub. Should have listened to us when she had the chance. She reached over to Heyman's helm, furrowing her brows as it would have budged. Is this sealed shut? She cursed, glancing at honor. What now, clouds? Bury the bodies like this. Let them rest with their steel. Take the gitter. We'll make better use of it. Well, we're producing already, so let's get our abs to building war sports because that helps out. After doing Unity and Sister, like we read earlier. Hmm. Welding new steel, replace Sisterhood's schism with we can do it. That's not bad. Hurts research speed though. That's a lot more soft. Oh my god, how much soft attack are we missing? Ah. Hmm. A gander over the fence. Well, I want to go to war fast. Com camaraderie, camaraderie above Codex. Replace it with River Provinces, or River Provides. Little Sisters. Well, I guess we just have to keep going this way to go to war, huh? Ah, oh, yeah. Welding new steel. The days of inscription are over. A sister armed with a, is a sister devoted. A warrior knows the price of battle and fights for a cause they believe in. But given the sisters tired of battle, those taken into the brother without choice, the chance to live civilians. Together we press forward. Welding new steel who choose to bear its burdens. Working without honor, huh? Joanna's pre rehearsal log. On the Coneflower Hill. As the evening approached, uh, <clears throat> the sun burned out from the cascading lavender skyline. Honor found Warwick atop a nearby hill that overlooked the valley. He was by his lonesome, swallowed in the thickets of prairie coneflowers. Enjoying the flowers, Honor asked, creeping up to his side. Gently, she plucked a small yellow flower from a thin stem. In her presence, Warwick hunched forward. He was out of his power armor. A strange sight indeed, for she had never seen him leave the shelter without it. Yeah, they're nice. They don't have these back at home, he finally said, pulling his knees closer to his chest. What can I do for you, Sentinel? One for your thoughts, she offered him the flower head. I see your trouble. Uh, scoffing lightly, Warwick dismissed her hand. I just threw away my whole life. Everything. I work for him, what I said for you, chuckled dryly. So forgive me, Sentinel, if I'm not in the talking mood. Yet you speak to me now. On a shrug, flicking the flower aside, you made the right choice. Warwick scowled, the other meant ex execution under the grounds of cowardice. There wasn't much choice. I saw your actor when they brought Joanna out. I had months to get myself together. Everyone's eyes were on me when Joanna first took everything and ran. This one's my last well, one chance to clear our family name, but when I saw her face, he stopped smiling, or stopped himself, sighing. Honor patted his shoulder gently. Uh, conviction is a fickle thing, so easily does it unravel when we're forced down a crossroad. Uh, but in that moment where we must choose between family and duty, we set ourselves down a better path. 
Warbeck sighed again, more exhausted than indignant. The old man was right. You got pretty words, Honor, he said, adjusting his posture upright. I just hope they'll still mean something in the long run. They will, Honor said firmly. For this, this path is a new flame, a beginning. Nice. Work is needed. Very, very good. And organized agriculture would be fantastic. As the followers, we are allowing them to establish themselves here. So. We've got to beeline through all this stuff. Um, It's not much stability. Actually, that's a lot of stability. 10% more? Holy cow. Less than 70%. Well, I guess we'll max out stability then. A hand for the loose ends. Before the steal, many knights were tribal. Foremost, we would let these people voice their needs and concerns. Should a day come where we dismiss the suffering we've inflicted, or uh, the many scars yet to heal, then let damnation unravel us. For then, in our journey for greatness, we have forgotten to do good. More super sludges, huh? Sister born in murk, risen in steel. The sisters who are once tribals are slowly adapting to their freedom, while those taught in intolerance are learning to bear their own habits. Progress is rocky, but one thing stands true. We're all born in the murk of the world, and together, with unity and understanding, we shall rise in steel. That one next, and what do we got with these guys here? Help the settlements out, yes, please. Pledging devotion. In order to push forward, we need to prove that our devotion is beyond flimsy words and hollow ideals. While honor favors action over words, it would be beneficial for a senator to give public speeches and sit down stories to share with her uh, soldiers. Yeah, there we go. We'll go and doing that one. Just switch them over, anyways. Uh, I usually like doing new crossroads first, so we'll see. Scavenger Cell. Oh, Poseidon Energy Schematics. It's not bad. Hmm, energy Cell. It's not bad, yeah. Not exactly what I would want right now, but still. Minerva, the Bewitcher, extending an apology. Head Paladin. Hey, man, did we kill him already? Head Paladin. When the brother needed something done quick and without question, Justina Heyman was the first to be consulted. A pragmatic soul, she would describe herself to be an absolute last resort in any given situation. In every operation she'd ever been a part of, she'd been through, thorough, and effective with a near 100% success rate. Now considered cruel and total in her dealings with, even by raiders, Heyman was deemed to be the perfect companion to Petroculus' mission in Montana. So, extending an apology of Minerva the Ar Arena's Bewitcher. Oh, it's right over here. That's not bad. So I uh, probably wouldn't choose this one. It's so good to get though. Planning attack, a uh, planning speed and attack, huh? Very nice. So we already have super sludges unlocked. It's kind of insane, not gonna lie. But I'll take it. Be up for the fire. Our resources are stretched thin by the troublesome Montana climate, more so during the winter months, but there's hope in many of this, and that lies in the billowing smoke on the horizon. This coal consortium to the West seems to believe for a verity falls under their purview and have expressed distaste at our presence here. I'm not violent by nature, but there's an opportunity in, the, in their callousness. Some of the town's folk under our protection have children. How desperately do I want to give these children a warm feast or a night free from shivers and woe from sentinel honor? Oh, that'd be great. Here's some sufficiency game or breakthrough, organization, research speed. There's a lot of small little buffs we get here. Kind of like it. Ooh, doggo stuff. Legend Devotion. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. I feel for fire. Minerva, the arena's bewitcher. The opening Minerva's arena has left me skeptical. Despite the poor wording choices in her proposal, Minerva's claims is all for good sport. This is a sort of special training that really gets the blood pumping. Nobody's done under my watch. Nobody with a lick of common sense and fighting spear, that is. Look at all that pee pee. What did we do? Well equipped army. Uh, Knight Warwick? Yeah. Well, since he's unique, we'll probably grab him anyways. And here we got his knightly armaments. I mean, that just makes sense to me. Right? I think I'm right. Hopefully I'm right. Go ahead and grab that one too. Fuel for the fire. So we gotta wait for this one, the heist. Picking up the pieces. Less resistance, okay, that's good. Middle mouths. Oh, the heist. Star of Monitors, nice. Uh, starting level new army leader, special force capacity multiplier, and the crowd goes wild. Aw. Oh. Again, over the fence, so well, that's still be good to do too. Having regained photo within the Montana chapter, it would not hurt to establish production near our borders. It also provides us a great leeway to see what our neighbors, neighboring nations are up to. Yeah, 
that'd be great, because we will have to core out a lot of stuff here. Oh, but they can't really resist us. Very good. Very nice. Toothpick. Eh. Resource construction speed. Scott Benjamin, that'd be good to do. I guess we wouldn't mind doing this guy, but still. Let's go to war, see what happens. Oh, they immediately start attacking us. I like that. Uh, sure. Well, they want to attack us again. I'm okay with that. Alright. Interesting. No outsiders. Makes sense to me. Cotton Reformer. Less stability, but more on his plan. Cotton Flubbins, of course, we read. Decorated Heroes, not bad. Subscribe. Population. Oh, hello. Radio interference. Ooh, that sucks. But Witching Arena opens today. Come on, come on to Minerva's Bidet Witching Arena. Raise your ear to the sky. Do you hear me? Uh, or do you hear the echoing chant, the scream of victory? To daredevils and thrill seekers alike, come on down to the arena. Lose yourself in the moment. Steal and steal Sparks Burst's glory for the opening month. Audience seats are free, so come down and take a gander. What do you have got to lose? To register as a participant, you must be a part of the Sisterhood of Steel and rank nine or higher. If you're an initiate, you must provide a letter of endorsement from a verified sponsor. Daredevil, daredevils fill the arena grounds. Thrill seekers float in waves. Oh, uh, that's harder to get. More war sport, so we're gonna go with war sport. Militarizing Montana. Montana's healthier than most wastelands, which makes it far more valuable. Holding won't be easy, and taking won't be either. We need to be ready for whatever comes our way. Fantastic. Yeah, I guess thrift, yeah. That just makes sense for us to use. Are they gonna attack us again, please? Dazzle me. No. Why do you make me depressed then? Okay, you're going the wrong way. Okay then. Shouting them down. As Pout and Rizik won't stop many of our initiates, yelling and shouting can often have quite the effect on developing on their development as effective soldiers. Mm hmm. Bring uh, forth the current. The Reavers of our ranks have requested advanced technologies for their inspections and practices. This explain will reestablish your connections with the current flow. Honor sees no harm in this. Let's grant the Reavers their wish. Yes, please. Uh, I like medcam support still. That seems very useful. I don't know if we'll actually use this stuff, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. Encirclement. I love it. Nice job, guys. Good job. Um, they're going to do where they want. Honestly, I don't really care. Go ahead. See what you can do. Should be all green up throughout for the most part. Here, hop up. Grind that army XP, y'all. Some more goods. Help it out here, too. Carthaginians are gone. <coughs> um, working without honor. While well, sending honor. Sentinel Honor takes the Sisterhood to New Horizons. She's appointed Paladin Joanna the Ninth uh, Thrift Knight and Knight Warwick to improve smaller areas of the homestead. The three have settled on two improvements along the Purdue Entertainment and Renaissance. For setting off for her errands, Honor glanced up to the three in her chamber. Can I trust you three to stay out of trouble? She asked, half jesting. Yes, both the Pentecost siblings nodded. Maybe Thrift added. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. No guarantees. Keep it up. We're doing quite well here. More simulation, please, yes. Beat up their special forces, yes, until they literally all die, yes. Special forces, yes. I like to say yes a lot. So a little ahead of time. Gliders would be nice, yes. Good. Mosby. Mosby? It was Mosby. And there they go. What did you expect? So, Metal Mouths are next. Demand Tribute? No, kill yourself.
Don't worry about the renaming of, the, of this group. It's totally fine. It's totally okay. Uh, Band-Aid solutions won't cut it. Negotiating with uh, Stephen was a lost cause. Pompously living in luxury, he hoarded his resources while others vied for scraps. We urged him to share what he could and possibly need in his lifetime, but he remained stubborn. That's fine. If he couldn't do it, then we will. Uh, we'll request that Hopper relinquish her autonomy in favor of sisterhood authority. Ooh, a real jawbreaker. Neighboring the Metal Mouths has risen concern. Nobody's pleased with living close to a nation of raiders, no less slavers. They would valuable weapons for an unjust cause. How about we fix that? That's going to be kind of painful, but we're going to do that anyways. Let's go create an, int an intelligence agency as well, so we can put down resistance. That'd be nice. Don't money prospectors, and we need more money. I don't think these guys have a uh, trade note either, but... Billings. Billings, Montana. Duh. It's Montana. Duh. Yo. Oh, we're already on military academy officers, military academy training. That makes sense. Surveyor. Uh, that makes sense. Construction speed, build things faster, extract things better. You know. Hey, look at that stability, too. Fantastic. There are the four daddies. A real jawbreaker, eh? Because right now, resistance is... Well, it's actually not that high. That's actually decent. Visiting the city. Havre is a quaint place, or Havre, or, or at least it used to be. Our local Unto tells us it's populated by mere tribals and settlers, but a new religious force swept through it. Though, even with the call as a nation, they lack tight-knit order. We could grant the citizens of Havre the protection and leadership they'll need. Our brightest thousands of sharpest scribes could probably sort things out. Probably. Nice. Happy August. We get a war with them. Oh, they're forcing the attack too. Look at that. Oh, let them struggle. I like it. Sentinel honor, yes. Had Paladin Heyman. Oh, I thought we killed that person. Okay, whatever. You know, let let them struggle. Let them try to kill us. We lost one versus 177. Very nice. Oh yes. Oh yeah. And its solutions won't cut it. And these guys are where? Well, that's called a liberty. Oh. Your whole one division helps out. Okay. So, smoke signals. Nice. Pretty normal. Um, Crosshearted. Corlands. Odin's the bank. Well, I guess the heist. Uh, remnants of resistance and raiders have been taking shots at the weak links in our defenses. We must endure as our forces acclimate to the new setting with these new resources. Let us show what these wicked remnants we can do. Someone bring the stretcher. <coughs> Permanent of his word, her arena has cultivated emboldened hearts rather than catastrophe, as many speculated. Throw the success, Minerva's put in a request for certain resources, promising a new level of special forces by the end of the month. We're still unsure where fireworks play into this, but Thrift would be more than overjoyed to deliver. Alright, so you're not doing very much here. You're gonna help out right there, and you're gonna help out right there and do that too. Congrats on the promotion. Raphael, you seem very experienced. Very nice, the heist. Oh, hello. Well, Code of Liberty just decided, hey, we're going to do well here. Oh, well. I guess you're in the war now, too. I guess just going in. Capture the war. Oh. Sure, why not? Why not? Well, they're definitely trying to do something here. Not saying it's working, but they're trying something. This is a free ally, that's nice. That was the MacArthur, doing their MacArthur thing. Better supply use for a moss, that's nice. Help them out. Just go here, it's fine. Oh, he's been wounded, huh? Hey, there you go. Nice. Cross hearted. With the code of liberty under sisterhood control, we're raring to get to work and pave the way uh, for a greater home for the people of Havra. Our first will be sent at a moment's notice. Even more political power. Wow. Holy cow. That's a lot of political power we've gotten so far. We're free. I want you to fight these people. Good. A little ahead of time. I just want you to show up and just beat the crap out of them. You can maybe even circle them too. We've done 14%, which is good. We've done most of the percentage, which is even better. There you go. Oh, hello. No, I don't want you here. 
No, thank you. Few states join the NCR. Didn't really need that too. Clamp down on autonomy. Chief Air Force Knight Peter. Well, I guess we might as well. Get in there and circle and destroy. Cross hearted, very nice. Uh, oh, hello? Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, what do we got here? Toothpick? It's not much. We can build things faster, but honestly, a little more breakthrough production cost seems better to me. Um, weapon expert. I like that. The recovery rate's pretty good. Supply? Uh, we'll see. Reformer? Yeah, it would take a while to get her. She's unique to our faction, why not? Her stability a little bit, but that's okay. Laurel? Oh, now whatever. Big timber, huh? I think it will be just fine. Oh, well, you could also help out too here, you know. Well, the Great North is on fire. That's pretty normal. Harlow Town. Hey. Nice. Nope. Nope. We're looking pretty good. I like it. Jackson's getting the crap being out of them, though, but whatever. Historians? Minerva's Grand Tournament. Come on down to watch your beloved Scissors of Steel duke it down and settle the final score. Let's introduce our potential champions and statements to the fans. Joanna, a heartfelt thanks to everyone cheering me on. I'll do my best. Isol, this is my first time participating in anything like this, but I believe in beginner's luck. Lucius, uh, this is so this is a competition? Uh, Kerman, I'm here because I lost a bet. Go, cool place, though. Uh, Betsy, the idea of an arena always excited me. I can't believe we got something like this going on. I'm pumped and ready. Pen, wait, I'm fighting Betsy first? Warwick, you want a statement? Sure, I'll do all my opponents. Good luck, you'll need it. And, uh, Siohan. Being the only initiate here is nerve-wracking, especially considering who I'm up against. But I don't plan on losing the first round. Order your tickets now, just seven caps each. Let's well, go. Whatever sounds like fun. Uh, picking up the pieces. Committing to our non, uh, uh, to our no conscription policies left us a deal with trickling raiders. We'll need to be on high alert and expend more effort into suppressing the rest of the resistance. Cool. Yes, please. I should have stopped tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Nice. I'll head it down, but I don't really care. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, how are we doing resources? Uh, he's probably a spot more water, honestly. Yep, this is the one I wanted. My bad. And then what? Streak the sky with color. Head in the clouds log, scribe Slif Sulfur has approached me with new ideas regarding our flag. We want to design right after our overturn. He thinks we should find more ways to integrate it, like paint the symbol in our armor or hang the flag in more places. He also suggested festivities to spread the color of our joy, or joy of our colors, the details of which were lost to me. A colorful evening. So much pee pee. I'll get that one in too soon, which is nice. Seems like we're going to need that pee pee later on. Uh, get rid of yourself. It's fine. Nice. Good stuff. Rapid deployment, nice. And command. Recovery rate. Uh, it's not that much recovery rate. Special force capacity multiplier, organization loss when moving, more max speed, move faster, more breakthrough, less organization loss when moving. We'll go into that one too, anyways. Um, bleeding hearts. Ahead in, the, uh, ahead in the clouds log, as we progress, the Enclave nears. Though the threat is not yet imminent, the sisters have begun to worry. I've seen him fought the Enclave back in Chicago. They, ta they take until there's nothing left. There's no time to spare idling, a colorful evening. The major town square of Fairfield is bustling, even in the later evening. While all was calm, citizens with their late errands and the knights of the sisterhood walked their lax patrols, three cloaked ne'er-do-wells scurried to the streets. Remind me while I'm dressed like this, Warwick whispered harshly. Actually, I'll do you one better. What the heck are we carrying? Joanna snickered softly beside him. Come on, Wick, don't you like a little adventure? 
Come on, kids, those questions were walking throat gestured. It approached him with two things, a bag full of small paper rockets and a vague idea about behind a gear, giddy grin. Now let's just say I promised still for a night at the show. Joanna gasped slightly, Andres bound around the corner. Quick. Warwick blinked. Wait, so Joanna knows what's going on and I don't? No time to get to it, Thrift said, chucking a matchbox to the twins afterwards. He dumped the contents from his bag and began setting up their little rockets. Their wicks all lit by the, sun, by the time they sent around to the corner. In a flash, a paper rocket shot up to the far reaches of the night sky. With a crackling pop, fantastic colors from the sisterhood flag streaked the air, fizzling out like a star as the streaks arched down towards the earth. Though unauthorized, the fireworks enraptured all its onlookers, even the sentinel herself. Cool. Oh god, among the roses... As no one, no one wins in Scorch Fields. Cloud's Haven. Enclave Auxiliaries will be drafted to serve the chapter. Further, you'll gain a compliance booth in all of MacArthur ter Detachment territories. Huh. So, do we have anything here for the historians? No, so we can just, just find them manually then. Spirits and Shells. The study room we granted the Reavers are chalked brim with schematics and scribbled thoughts. They have approached us with an experiment, promising breakthroughs in the medicine and equipment. Oh, get a research light down here. Reavers in the rear. That's good. Construction speed, 15%. My god. Sisterhood. Forging a sisterhood. Caps. non aggression pact with the cause. Getting a core of Seattle. Montana. Oh, claims on Montana and Washington. And Middlemark. That sounds like fun. Crowd goes wild, ahead in the lo clouds log. The lonesome radar I met all those years back is reclaimed her life. Free from the bi binding past, she's risen a star. The arena's bewitcher. Minerva has become an idol to her soldiers, enrapturing all with her showmanship candor. Her fiery souls brings the best out of all of us. Cool. Grassy butt. I like grassy butts. Hello. Yeah, the console looking pretty good. Oh, MacArthur's got to deal with two, though. No one for the Navy, probably, right? Uh, Paladin Minerva? Yeah. We'll use that person next time, but... More attack and spirit? Yeah. Nice fate wills. Tribal huts are nice. Well, depends on who owns the huts, I guess. That's fate wills. Uh, one out of the sky. Ruined buildings of yore have their purposes, but it's not enough to lay a bedroll on the ground and call it home. We're beyond barbaric as is. Let us see to clearing old rubble and building new structures. That's fate wills. Shouting them down. To engrossed in her log, Honor spared no glance to the sound of her chamber opening door, chamber door opening. Yes, she asked, setting down her journal. Minerva slammed an enclave helmet on the desk, the side of it scorched and nearly molten. Check it. Minerva said, jabbing her finger against the helm. Honor narrowed her eyes. Minerva, even you know this joke is in poor taste. Minerva shook her head, her tone darkening. This ain't from Chicago. Clouds. Joanna's squad ran into this one up near the mountains, said there were more, but she wasn't looking to draw out a big old fire. Honor's breath caught in her throat. She glanced at Minerva, then back to the helm, taking a closer inspection of what felt like a beheaded wraith from the past. Any casualties? Oh, with both the Pentecost on a squad, just a few wounded, Minerva smirked dryly, and here I thought Montana was a clean slate, she sighed. What now? We prepare. Honor squared her shoulders. The Midwest threw us down in the face of the Chicago Enclave when skirmishes reached her high. Where they could not bother to expand manpower, the sisters were there to cover every time. Uh, Minerva nodded, crossing her arms. The ones in Chicago hold up with the gangs in the city? These ones take to the mountains. I reckon they're not the same. Enclave is the Enclave, Honor said firmly. Who would the sisters be if not having fought this sort of war before? She frowned and sighed. Though I tire of needless death, I'll prepare a messenger first and we'll think about the fires. Minerva chuckled with, chuckled with a nod, preparing to don her helm. Sister, stand strong, huh? Sister, stand strong. Request that MacArthur surrender themselves to her might. Oh, crap! Well, uh... Okay, we're not ready to just go to war immediately just yet. Holy crap. Um... What in tarnation was this about? So if that's the case, I should probably should have realized that firsthand, but oh, are they fighting a war here too? Maybe not. Uh yeah, that's not good. That's a lot of enemy divisions. Yeah. Up to twenty, and we have ten, and we can make encirclements. We don't need to call them in yet. Oh, they're also fighting Yellowstone, so they beat up Yellowstone. They might actually lose the yell, so maybe. Uh, we might call that an episode then. Um, we'll work on trying to kill them off, like normal. Uh, what a muted birthright. The children of the Beast Lords, absorbed into the Brotherhood nearly a century ago, paid for their actions with their ancestors. 
These children only know pleasant tales of their mothers and fathers living alongside the beasts of the wasteland. Let's carefully ease them back into the old traditions, sans cannibalism, but if you enjoyed our first episode playing as Sisters of Steel, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue on and play with Sisters of Steel. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous rest of your day.